Hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another brand new playlist and in this playlist we are going to explore next js with some advanced features okay so on my channel i do have a lot of uh, next js playlist like next js advanced series next js uh, intermediate course next js uh, beginner course but i saw a lot of comments from uh, different developers and saying okay we need some advanced features advanced things about nest js so i thought of putting it as a separate playlist where in initially i'm going to talk about very basic fundamental which is nest js core how to build the apis with the nest js core without using some additional features then we can start talking about okay how to work how to work with different integrations different database or different toolings toolings let's say uh how to work with elastic search kafka or different database redis so in different database and different orms so this is going to be a massive playlist first of all and i'm going to put a lot of videos in this this is going to be a one shop stop if you are looking for some out of the box feature with nest js because now nest js is widely adopted as a api development uh, framework either you are talking about the rest on graphql and i'm doing a lot of development work in nsjs and i see that developers are now moving towards it because it's providing proper structure it has its lot of pros and cons right but when it comes to the benefits there are a lot of benefits uh, which every developer is getting by writing the services apis or different kind of interface either grpc or http interface in nsjs we'll talk about all different integrations with the different services from the aws from different services from the azure let's say file upload to a local server to aws to azure or integrating to a different messaging platform like mqs uh, kafka and all and integration with a different kind of database using different orms so nowadays we have a type orm we have sqlize we have next and we have prisma so what all different possible integrations you can do before all those things i will be talking about core in the core you will talk, you will understand how to write services controllers dynamic modules how we can handle the request response what are the dto's how we can do the data validations how we can set up a basic uh, the deployment pipelines and all those things and the important part is how to work with external services because nest js is primarily used for building a service it's a mostly a microservice which is talking to a database and uh, exposing some interface through maybe http or some other protocol right so we can if you are writing a simple rest service then what all possibilities okay how we can do the logging the config management uh, and uh, logging config management authentication authorization whatever the basic things you see while building the rest apis like security logging authentication and authorization it can be of a different type role based access control feature based access controls and uh, additional things we are going to talk about more on the graphql side okay i have discussed a lot about the rest apis or building microservices in the nest js but i haven't discussed about the graphql yet so we'll talk about okay how you can expose a graphql interface either as a middleware talking to the different rest apis or a simple graphql service which is exposing the queries and mutation from itself and then all different things okay nestjs cqrs nestjs swagger type definitions nestjs middlewares all the core components which are already there okay so let's get started this is going to be one of the massive playlist which i'm going to put and i already have some parallel playlist so i keep posting the videos on this playlist minimum 5 to 10 so you can get along with this playlist and can learn most out of it uh thank you guys thank you very much